students let's start with the first point mechanical energy under the point forms of energy dear students basically there are two types of energies under mechanical energy one is potential energy and the other is kinetic energy when the object is in rest position that time there is some kind of energy which is already stored in that object that kind of energy is called the potential energy on the other hand the energy obtained from motion is called kinetic energy let's consider one example if you want to drive a motor bike if you are on the state of rest if you are holding your motor bike and just standing on one place that time you are in potential energy state secondly if you start driving a motor bike you are in kinetic energy state this tells us that the energy which is in motion that time it is kinetic energy and when you are in rest position that time it is potential energy second one is heat energy the earth receives heat in proper quantities from the sun that is how an atmospheric temperature favorable to the living world is maintained heat is a form of energy sunlight contains heat energy heat is produced by burning of fuel heat energy is used in the kitchen all the time heat is measured in the unit calories dear students you must have experienced heat energy every day when you cook in kitchen that time your food is cooked only with the help of heat energy also sunlight provides us heat you can experience it with the help of glass you take a glass and let it get focused on a piece of paper for a long time for 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes or 20 minutes after some time the piece of paper will automatically get burned that is because of heat energy is focused at a particular place for a long time which leads to fire so that is heat energy the third one point is light energy we have learned that plants make their own food with the help of sunlight it means that light energy is transformed into the energy in food plants and animals use this food for doing their work it means that light is also a form of energy light is necessary for the growth of plants when sun releases sunlight plants attract sunlight and due to which they prepare their own food with the process called photosynthesis we also require light for our everyday routine we require light to see whatever is present in front of us without light life is very much difficult to live in darkness next one is sound energy you might have seen the glass panes of windows crack due to a loud noise similarly sound is used to control the movements of some toy cars this means that some work is done by sound it tells us that sound is a form of energy students we make use of sound for several works when we speak to each other when we communicate with one another when we communicate with each other with the help of mobile phones so this is also one of the energy which is sound energy sound energy helps all the organisms for making the communication between them so this is also one kind of energy and the last one is chemical energy when wood burns we get heat and light sometimes we hear a cracking sound as well what makes this happen the energy stored in wood is emitted in various forms through chemical actions also it is due to the chemical action in the lead acid battery that electrical energy is produced students chemical energy is also one type of energy you must have experienced the chemical energy when you burn the crackers there are chemicals present inside the crackers 
which when come into contact with fire immediately start bursting so this is one of the example of chemical energy thank you